just a few more. This next guy was actually named the Dark-Hearted Prince of Colfax. This is one of Comedy Works' favorites. This is Greg Bobhauer, everybody. Let him hear it. Greg Bobhauer. Hey, thanks so much. Let's give it up for Brent, everybody. Huh? Funny guy. Funny guy. You guys actually don't know this about Brent, but he's actually not the only entertainer in his family. His sister is quite the comedian herself. And she used to do the funniest gag, as you remember exactly how it went. It was something like, uh, oh, little two-man show back in the day. And ladies, he's single for a reason. Bet shitter. Yeah, it's, it's a rough one. Hey, well, right, let's have a big round of applause for the drunk bitch over here. That's exciting. That's exciting. And I think you're great. Stick around after the show. I'll still be my digits. These three. Yes. Smells like success. I'm, sweetheart, I'm kidding. I wouldn't fuck you for all the meth in your purse. I just heard clearly. Sock. Don't, don't think about it. Don't think about it. Bitch got served. Careful, the top plate is hot. That's what happens when you order the fuck he does, bitch. You know what? I kept them from keeping you out just so I could say that shit about you. Thanks to our staff. Sorry about other comics. Fuck yeah. So how you guys doing? You guys having a good night? Like really hungover, my energy's down. Um, I'm fucking super hungover. I got wasted last night. My alarm clock went off at seven o'clock in the morning, like it does every day. Does anyone else here have like a really annoying alarm clock? Just makes an awful sound. You know? Mine is the worst. Just imagine waking up to this at seven o'clock in the morning every day. Daddy, dad, dad. I did a show down on uh, South Broadway, and it was like a comedy music kind of showcase thing. And I can tell you guys, I saw the funniest fucking drunken argument I've ever seen in my life. It was between some performer and some drunk chick in the crowd. And I can't remember exactly how the fight started, but I do know how it ended. With her storming off down the street, the guy yelling at her, Well, Google me, bitch! Google me! You think you're all that? Google me, bitch! See what the fuck's up? Google me! So I did. So I Googled him, and it turns out that guy was me. Like a fun crowd. Let me ask you guys this. You guys drink so much cheap beer the next day it's like your ass has dry heaves. <laughs> 20 minutes to start your day off. Nothing better rolling out of butt with your butt and rolling out of bed with your butt with this for half an hour. <laughs> Thanks, ass. Now I can go to work. Show. Glad to be back in Denver. I, uh, I'm on the road a lot. I recently uh, did a show in Rock Springs, Wyoming, which was awful and yeah. racist. <laughs> Who's clapping for that shit hole town? Holy shit, I kind of hope everyone in that town gets AIDS. I'm not even going to swear to Sorry, little kid, you were born here? Fuck it, you got AIDS now. Fuck it. But that town, so, and I, I, I knew it was going to suck. I knew the show was going to suck. As soon as I walked through the bar and it smelled like fucking poor people, and not like poor homeless guy on the bus, but like that poor family smell. And I know that smell because I grew up really poor in every house in my neighborhood in that same stage of like stale tuna casserole and nicotine and crushed dreams and tears of confusion. I don't know if you guys knew this, but this right here, cleanest part of a poor kid's face. It's true. It's tears of Michael Clutters. 
But like, I'm 10 seconds into my fucking act and I start getting heckled by this large family in the front row. And by large, I mean uh, girth, not numbers. Big fat fatties, all of them. Trashy fuckers. Uh, father, older gentleman who was missing his leg, which I'm assuming he lost in the war against diabetes. <laughs> And the mother looked like she should have fucking Princess Leia chained to her neck. It was awful, awful. And she came up to me after the show and she's like, Oh, 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 Like her pussy is still digesting Boba Fett. Like, tell me stuff. But the worst, though, was the fucking daughter. And this chick was fucking trashy. Neck covered in hickeys. Or as I like to call them, Mexican love letters. Awful. Like, like she hit that fourth abortion wall like ten years ago. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, just fucking disgusting. Like her pussy was kind of like hip hop. It was only really good in the '90s when mostly black guys were doing it. Like, so I'm fucking hammering on this block because she keeps tackling me, kind of like this shit. And uh, I'll never forget, it's like after the show, she comes up to me and she's like, there you are. And I'm like, I'm about to get punched in the face. And she saunters right over to me. She's like, I like your personality. And I was like, that's cool. I like your bruises. I don't know. That's cool. You're not going to call the cops on the motherfucker when the Broncos lose. That's good to know. And I kid, I would never hit a woman. I would never love someone that much. Um, I don't know, maybe I just haven't met the right girl. I think my little Rihanna's out there somewhere. <laughs> oh, too soon? Too soon? We saw those photos. It looked like he beat that bitch with an umbrella. Ella, Ella. All right, my name's Greg Baumhauer, and I've been fucking awesome. Hippie Man!